Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman here. This is uh, Tuesday, January the 25th. This is the Tiger Financial News Network, 11 a.m. market update. Dow's down 453. That sounds like, oh, it's it, it's not, not, that, not that bad. It's not that great. But wait a minute. American Express is added to it. American Express is up 12 points because the real thing here is the S&P. The S&P is down um, 84 points at 43.26, given back a huge chunk of that fantastic turnaround yesterday from the 422, 2.62 low. So let's just keep this in mind that if after between 2 and 3 o'clock this afternoon, if there is, um, if the, if uh, I'll have to use the Dow just because I always use the Dow, if the Dow is about minus 180 or better. That means the S&P will be probably about minus 57 or minus 62 or better, or maybe even better than that. Um, that'll be a good sign for maybe that the Fed, whatever they say, is going to be helpful to the market. Just I'm saying that the Dow actually be down 600 something, just the same as the S&P. And that off the yesterday's move says just be really careful here, be very selective. So in the, in the meantime, let's go back to the S&P. The S&P at this particular point down 86. If it starts to trade under 4,300 and holds there for more than uh, about 30 minutes after the moment I'm talking to you right now, that's just, just be real careful because there could be a lot of weakness into the close rather than strength, which is what many people would like to see. The QQQ, NDX 100, that's really the vehicle that you want to follow. It's down nine points, down 2.5% off the yesterday's move. That's not great. But it's not bad. So just make sure that it holds three, 340 because if it goes under 340, that's a real problem. You're looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000, same thing. 196 must hold 194, otherwise that's a big problem. Gold, gold actually moved up very nicely, then it pulled back a little bit. It's still up five. It's made a new recovery high. I, I like what I'm seeing because gold... I didn't want to see gold up about 30 or 40 points because that would say that the financials, the XLF, will be tanking. And they're not really tanking right now. They're holding OK. So this is saying this is part of the process of trying to establish some kind of a bottom. If you're looking at crude oil, crude oil had a really nice rally. It's up $1.37 and 84 68 this is, a, this is a good sign. And because of Russia, just think crude oil is in play. I don't think it's going to have a major turn down. Then the TLT bonds should be much, much higher, and it's not. Something different is happening here. Have a wonderful rest of the day. I'll be back with Tom a little later on this afternoon. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Stay tuned for Larry Pizzavente. Should be great programming all the way through today.